Hey everyone, I am back in the office today and I wanted to follow up on one of the tips I gave a little bit earlier. Uh, we talked about focusing on your posture, both your upper body posture and your lumbo pelvic posture while you're not only running but while you're exercising. So I wanted to follow up on well, what exactly is proper lumbo pelvic posture. So from a pelvic therapist standpoint and really from any physical therapist that you ask, they're going to tell you that appropriate lumbo pelvic posture includes a normal inward curvature of your lumbo low back and a slight anterior um, pelvic tilt. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at our pelvis here. So when your pelvis is appropriately neutrally oriented, it's going to be tilted slightly forward so that you can see that the opening of the pelvis is facing forward. And from the side, you can see that these front hip bones, which you can feel on the front of your pelvis, are going to be lined up in a vertical line with your pubic bone. So this is a nice neutral position for your pelvic to be in. It's the least amount of pressure and stress on your pelvic floor, on your abdominals, on your core, makes it easier to breathe, and helps your body just to function normally. So anytime that you're exercising, you want to have your pelvis in this nice forward tipped posture with this nice normal inward curvature um, in your back. So I know that there's a lot of kind of trendy exercise programs out there that are going to maybe ask you or prompt you to tip your pelvis back and flatten your spine a lot, but recent research has shown that that's actually not as effective a way to strengthen and use your deep core in your pelvic floor as when your spine is in a neutral position. So again, whether you're running or whether you're doing um, some other type of an exercise program, the best position to have your um, pelvic and your lumbar spine in as a general rule is that slightly tip forward position. You can feel your pubic bone and your anterior hip bone tip forward and back and those two bones should be in kind of in a vertical plane together and you should have a gentle curve in your lumbar spine. So you can see if you're exercising in a flat back, that's not going to be as good for you as if you're exercising in a nice neutral spine position. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and stay tuned for more tips.